I've always been fascinated with insects and, and flowers, and I just, I really wanted to start incorporating more native plants to see if I could get a better diversity of insects into my garden. You know, as we know, habitat is really fragmented right now for insects, and it's like they're, they're just so critical. I mean, we have to have these insects. So I, I've always loved flower gardening, so it was just a natural step to go, let's put the native plants in and see what happens. I see the benefits to my job in water quality where having native species can really do a lot of good for water conservation, but also protecting streams where you have native plants that can also serve to protect those water bodies from harmful pollutants that might reach those areas. There's a few of these plants that you can find commercially, but the majority of them you can't. And, or, or if you can find them, it's a cultivar. So to get the actual native plant is very, very difficult. So to be able to get these plants, to get the starts, I mean, that's, that's such a huge gift. I mean, it's just, there's, there's no way I could have done this kind of garden without that program. There are a lot of things about the pollinator program that get me really excited. Uh, probably one of the most exciting things for me is it gives the opportunity for anybody to be involved in conservation throughout the state. Uh, historically, a lot of our programs focused on uh, operations that had 100 acres or 1,000 acres or 2,500 acres. In the pollinator program, all you need is 900 square feet and you can implement these pollinator gardens and it helps with the pollinator habitat. It helps uh, beautify your, your operation, it helps with water conservation. So anyone can be involved with conservation. 